What's up everyone, it's Matty from Logic FX and in today's video I'm just going to go through some of Warren Buffett's trading rules and how we're going to apply those trading rules in a Forex scenario. So if you don't already know who Warren Buffett is, he's arguably the greatest world stock investor basically and over time he has made a bunch of mistakes but he's also made some great investment decisions. So one thing for sure, he's definitely come up with some very unique rules through his experience. And as traders, we can use these rules that he has made for investing and apply it to a Forex scenario. So rule number one, this is a bit of two in one, is never lose money. But rule number two is never forget rule number one. And this is referring to being a sensible investor. So you don't want to be that frivolous person, you don't want to gamble on positions and you don't want to go into an investment with a careless attitude that is okay to lose. What you really want to do is be informed and to get to that stage you actually need to start doing your homework. So Warren Buffett only invests in companies he thoroughly researches and understands. He doesn't go into an investment prepared to lose and neither should you. So what we can do as forex traders is to take a few key points from this as his main thesis is that he only invests in companies he thoroughly researches and understands. So as a forex trader, if you do not fully understand what a currency may do in the future, so you're not analyzing all the economic factors of an economy, you really don't have an idea of what the currency value should be. So the other point as well is that there's a huge emphasis on risk management. You know, you don't want to lose all your money in one go. You don't want to risk it all in one trade. You don't want to be over leveraging. You want to have those contingencies in place, those stop losses. The risk exposure is capped and your max risk per trade is also capped. And to do this, you need to use a fundamental, technical and sentimental analysis approach to understand not just one economy, but because it's Forex, you need to trade a currency pair. So you need to understand the economy behind two different countries and only once you've used these three types of analysis do you then look towards placing a trade. If you're actually serious about trading you're not going to gamble all your money away just through price patterns alone as they're just a timing signal really. So that brings us on to the next rule. If the business does well the stock eventually follows and this is coming from the book The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham where he convinced that Investing in a stock actually equates to owning a piece of the business. So when he searches for a stock to invest in, Buffett seeks out businesses that exhibit favorable long-term prospects. So you know things like, does the company have consistent operating history? Does it have a dominant business franchise? Is the business generating high and sustainable profit margins? You know, if the company's share price is actually trading below these expectations for its future growth, then it's actually a stock Buffett maybe want to be trading. And in the context of Forex traders, instead of asking those questions related towards the stocks, we want to understand the economy and ask those questions towards an economy. But there's a little bit of a trick here. Forex traders alone are at a disadvantage. You know, analyzing economies is difficult and it's also time consuming, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So Buffett mentions, if a good business does well, then the stock will follow. And what we do is we put a little twist on this and apply it to the financial markets and saying, if the economy is doing well, then eventually the currency will follow. And what we can learn from this is that analyzing fundamentals is actually a key factor for Forex traders to understand, especially if they're serious about this and want a chance of succeeding, because it's a key principle that Buffett has towards outlooks in investing. This is basically what we cover in the Logic FX Academy, and it's what the technology we've developed in-house automates so you don't need to analyze specific reports to determine economic strength or weakness. We've done it for you automatically. If you're interested in learning how to use these and how to trade Forex using fundamentals properly, the link's actually in the bio and we teach it there. So moving on to the next rule, which is it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. This rule really goes to show how Buffett is a true value investor who likes to buy quality stocks at rock bottom prices. You know, his real goal is to build more and more operating power for his company Berkshire Hathaway by owning these stocks that will generate solid profits and capital appreciation for years to come. So when the markets crashed during 2007-2008, Buffett was actually stockpiling really good long-term investments by investing billions in the names of General Electric and Goldman Sachs. And as forex traders, what we can learn from this is 
we need to understand the correct time to buy and sell a currency. When you're selecting your currency pairs, you need to really ask yourself, is it overbought or is it discounted enough to buy against the actual value? So this is actually the same when it's oversold. Is it a high enough price to sell at against its value? And this can be done by conducting, you know, economic analysis and then choosing relevant areas of buying and selling using longer time frames, such as the daily and weekly levels to map out where major buyers and sellers of currencies are. You know, this is so that you can also choose to get out or get in at these levels and hold trades for longer periods of time. Now, a question we see is how long should you hold a trade for? And Warren Buffett specifically mentions in his next rule, our favorite holding period is forever. You know, Warren Buffett specifically says, if you don't feel comfortable owning a stock for 10 years, you shouldn't own it for 10 minutes. And this is a huge factor for forex traders to understand. As you may know, many forex traders are lured into trading smaller time frames, you know, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, causing them to overtrade in a sense. You know, all you're doing is racking up transaction costs of spreads and commissions, which are lining the pockets of brokers. You know, it's leaving you out of pocket. Basically, retail forex traders' expectations are actually way too high, and they think they can achieve these expectations by trading lower time frames and compensating that with higher leverage. You know, you got to remember, hedge funds, they hold positions for one to 18 months, sometimes even longer. You know, these are professionals who make money consistently over a long period of time. Forex traders need to let go of that dream, you know, of scalping, of day trading. You know, this age of autonomous bots and arbitrage trading bots, they've completely taken over lower time frames. There's no way to compete against that. That's why, you know, you really want to be on those longer time frames where it's less noisy. Longer time periods, they're not only going to make you trade less often, they'll actually keep you patient for high probability setups. You know, it's actually going to keep your pockets safe. You're going to be paying less commissions to the broker this way as well. And basically your expectations, they need to really be lowered. You know, you can't be expecting these 100% a day type thing, 100% a week. It's not going to happen sustainably. Anyway. That's it for our video on Warren Buffett's trading rules. Hopefully you found some of this video useful and which you can now apply to your own trading style. Remember though, they might not be for everyone, but they're rules from a very successful investor. So do remember, if you're interested in the Logic FX Academy, you can sign up your interest for free below. The link will be in the bio. Uh, we'll be covering the global macro approach to forex trading and how to thoroughly analyze an economy using reports to create trade ideas and how to time those ideas using technicals and true market volume. Thanks for watching everyone. Do make sure to click that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram.